How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So if you're running iOS 18 beta on your iPhone, pay attention to this video because I'm gonna teach you how to remove the beta and get your iPhone ready to receive iOS 18, the official stable version, as soon as Apple releases it. Please keep in mind that this video is complete and will cover all scenarios. So regardless if you are on iOS 18.0, like on this iPhone right here, or on iOS 18.1, like this other iPhone, I'm gonna help you out and I'm gonna teach you how to deal with that remove the beta and have your iPhone ready for the official version of iOS 18. Let me show you. Okay, so scenario number one, your iPhone is on iOS 18.0 beta and that's the easiest scenario for us, okay? Of course, I'm gonna show you for iOS 18.1 as well. So let's come back here to our general, all right, on our settings and then tap here on software update. And as you can see right here, I have iOS 18 beta 8. For example, you may see a different number. No problem, don't worry about this. What we need to care about is right here on beta updates. So as you can see here, I'm on a developer beta, but it doesn't matter if you are on a developer beta or a public beta, it's the exact same thing. What you wanna do if you are in iOS 18.0 beta is turn it off. So turn your beta updates off, as you can see right here. So as you come back and that's off, you won't see any other software updates available. Simply because when I'm recording this video, iOS 18.0, the final version, hasn't been released yet. So what the iPhone is understanding is it's already on the latest version and that's exactly what we want. What you wanna do is turn off beta updates and just wait. Wait until Apple releases the final version of iOS 18. When they do, you will see right here the final version because right now, as you can see, since it's not released yet, we don't see anything. But as soon as Apple releases it, it's gonna see here as a new version and that is gonna push you. And as you see right here, you can go ahead, update normally, and then you'll be on iOS 18 the final version, stable like everybody else. Problem solved, you don't need to worry about beta updates anymore, and then you always keep getting the stable versions, like for example, iOS 18.0.1, and 18.0.2, and 18.1, and so on, and all of those versions you're gonna be getting from now on when you are on off right here will always be the official versions. So that's why I said that's the, the easiest scenario, because all you have to do is turn off and wait and then that's it you don't need to worry about it now if you are in the second scenario and your iPhone is in iOS 18.1 so you are actually beyond iOS 18.0 you are in a newer version than 18.0 so then if you are in a scenario like that you actually have two choices right here your first possibility when you are in a scenario like that is to go ahead and tap on software update and do the exact same thing we've done here. So go ahead to beta updates and then turn it off. It's the exact same thing. But the thing is, since you are already in 18.1, since you are already in a later version than iOS 18.0, if you do that, you're gonna have to be patient because you're gonna be running a beta version until Apple releases 18.1 final version. So it's the exact same logic right here. So we have disabled beta updates. We're not gonna get any more beta updates, but we have to wait until Apple releases the official version of the version you are running. So then, in this case, it was 18.0. As soon as they release the official version of that, you're gonna get it. In this case, it's 18.1. So until they release 18.1 official, you're gonna be running this beta version, you're gonna stick to it, you're not gonna get any other betas than that because you have turned it off, and then when they release it, then you will be able to update to iOS 18 official. So you won't get 18.0 because you are past that, you won't get. But when they release 18.1, 
you will get it. And the other possibility that I mentioned in this second scenario is you downgrade your iPhone. So you always have the possibility to downgrade so to come back to a previous version and then you get rid of this whole thing. So you have the possibility to downgrade to iOS 18.0, which I don't think makes much sense, or you can just go ahead, go all the way and downgrade to iOS 17. So you can bring your iPhone back to iOS 17 and then of course wait for iOS 18.0 like everybody else and update. Please keep in mind that if you do that you will lose all your data. When we downgrade we lose all our data but if you have a compatible backup you can restore from it. Okay, uh, I have a dedicated video on how to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17. I'm gonna link right here on this card, link in the description. You can go ahead and watch it. So as I said, regardless of the scenario you're in, if you are in 18.0 or 18.1, there's always a way to remove the beta and get the final version, which is what everybody wants, right? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye bye.